Greetings to you in the name of Jesus. I'm from Full of Grace Ministry and the team. Brother Daryl, Sister Nan, Sister Nick, Nikki. May the unseen be seen. May the invisible be made visible. Here on Full of Grace Ministry, the team is making known the invisible things, the invisible things made visible. How? By the way they walk, by the way they talk, by the way they sing their gospel song. Things are being made visible. How much do you love God? Is it being made visible today? How much do you know of God? Is it being made visible today? May the invisible of your life uh, be made visible today. May you reach out to someone uh, that you love, uh, that you show no love. Show it today. Let it may be made visible visible in your life and somebody else's life there are hurting people out there in all places i know they write to me i see it daily someone's needing prayer someone's asking for help uh, because uh, they, they're they're needing to be touched uh, by this invisible god and they need this healing power of this invisible God to be made visible. Uh, may somebody make the invisible God visible. May, may someone make uh, this healing God uh, be made visible. Hurting people needs an, an invisible touch. Uh, that the doctors cannot give. So we go to the invisible things of God because He manifests Himself and makes Himself visible. He is a healing God. When you see no hope, there can be hope that you can see. It's called a miracle. Amen. That you see with the eye. Chris is going to read some of these things about invisible, become invisible, and then we're going to go further. Okay, you know, Jesus is everything. And he was a form of man, but he showed us God in his body. Colossians 1.15, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Amen. That's speaking of Jesus. Romans 1.20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made in his eternal power and Godhead, so that we are without excuse. Jesus. First Timothy 1.17 Now unto the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, to the only wise God, be honor and glory forever. Amen. And that's Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. is our God. Amen. In Matthew chapter 10, starting at verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents, harmless as doves, but be aware of men. For they will deliver you up in the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Uh, that your church, uh, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. Yes. This is talking about Jesus for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no fault how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak uh, for it is not ye that speak uh, but the spirit uh, of your father which speaketh in you uh, 
You take no thought uh, what you shall speak. Uh, them words are invisible until you hear the invisible God speak. Uh, and then the words are coming out, uh, making uh, God manifest it through words uh, uh, which you hear is being made seen by men. Amen. Take no thought. Speak what you hear from the Spirit of your Father with which speaketh in you. In Romans 3 and 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. You know, sin is everywhere. Amen. Showing itself in so many different places. So, showing itself even in the church itself. Sin is being made known. Uh, time is running out on all of us. Uh, and if you want to know what sin is, open your eyes up. It's being made visible now. Amen. It's been made visible. You can see it. You can hear it. You can learn about it. You can talk about it. Sin is being made visible. But I find out before sin was made visible, there was a law given telling us right from wrong. For we knew not what sin was until there was a law made and, and, and telling us what sin was. Amen. If it wasn't for the law, we wouldn't have known. I find out that Jesus came not to destroy that law. He wants you to know what sin is. Exactly. But He came to fulfill feel the law. Yes, he did. Our Jesus, our righteous one. Yes. I believe there is a difference between sinners and righteous people. Yes, should be. Jesus is our righteous one. Yes. I dare to call him a sinner. Amen. The man knew no sin, but in all points was tempted as we are. Yes. But without sin. Amen. The man knew no sin, but was tempted in all points as we are, Amen. but without sin. Jesus said, I have overcome the world, and you can too. We are without excuse. But today, we have sinners claiming to be sinners. They're making themselves known yes. like it has never been known before. They used to hide their sins. They used to hide. They're coming out of the closet. <laughs> They'll tell you they're a sinner without shame. When you hear the word righteousness to them, it sounds bad. But claiming to be a sinner sounds good. I believe it says that they are called good Wrong and wrong good. Yes. Wise thing becoming backwards. We need to open our eyes up and see the invisible come visible. Yes. What was it that you heard that the Pope is going to do now? The Pope is going to welcome people in that's been divorced and also uh, homosexuals. So it's going to leave it up to the priest because used to you had to go to the tribunal to get uh, each and every divorce uh, through the Pope. Now he's going to leave. He said, we can't leave these people out forever. So those were the Pope's words, not mine. This is the thing. Changes are good if it's for the better. But our eyes are being opened today more than ever. What was the unseen is becoming seen. I'm here to say, people changes, God don't. Man. If it was told that it was against God to do certain things, did that change? Or did we change? Man. Some change can be for the good if we know we were wrong. Amen. But let me tell you something, God is never wrong. Amen. If He says something that you should or should not do, 
We can't change and say God was wrong back then exactly. saying it. We cannot play God. We cannot play God. Some change is for the better. If it's to change us, Amen. don't change God. Don't change God. In Acts 2, 38, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, my friend, we need the gift of yes. the Holy Ghost. Yes, we do. And to do this, it says to be baptized in the name of Jesus. In chapter 2 and verse 4, And they were all filled with the Holy yes. Ghost and began to speak with other tongues Amen. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Where is the sign of the Holy Ghost? Here in the Word of the Bible in chapter 2 and 4, it says they all were filled yes. with the Holy Ghost. That's Jesus, uh, the Ghost of Jesus. Uh, and began to speak with another tongue. Hallelujah. I believe we need to speak uh, with another tongue. Yes. This tongue must be to testify of Jesus Christ. Uh, this tongue must be to show the invisible Holy Ghost uh, that Jesus Christ is still among us by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, that is dwelling in us and we need a new tongue yeah. and we need to confess uh, yeah. and testify of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's our new tongue. That's our new tongue we should speak. Uh, we must speak Jesus. Uh, we must speak who He is. Uh, what He is. Uh, and when the Holy Ghost, who is Jesus, uh, dwells in you, will testify of Him. Uh, you need a new tongue. Uh, you need the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, that gift brings the gift back when it was way back in Bethlehem. It was Jesus Christ. Uh, be filled with the Holy Ghost uh, and bring Jesus to somebody. Yes, hallelujah. Praise God. Blessing be unto you from God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh, all in Him. Uh, it's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this invisible God became visible. We must receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and testify of Jesus. Yes. Testify of Jesus. In Matthew 5, and 20. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's what it says. Righteousness is a good word. And Jesus right here in this scripture says, let your righteousness be better. Than the scribes and the Pharisees. Not worse, better. Get more righteous. Get more righteous. That's what he says. Shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. Ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. My, my, my. They wanted to show it on the outside. But they needed God on the inside. Amen. They needed the righteous on the inside. So let's show it better than the scribes and the Pharisees. Let's put righteous on the inside and outside. That righteousness is Jesus. Amen. That's the Holy Ghost that falls upon you and you testify of Jesus, the righteous one. Yes. We need to be righteous. We need to be Jesus Followers in Jesus speaker. Amen. Righteous one. Jesus is the, is the righteous one. Jesus is the power of God into salvation. Yes. Jesus is our Savior. Yes. Oh, praise God. You need to run to God Almighty. Jesus is that righteous one. Jesus is the wisdom of God. You need God's wisdom. You run to Jesus. Yes. You need God's righteousness. You run to yes. Jesus. 
You need us, God's saving power. Yes. You run to Jesus. Yes. Uh, you need to see your Redeemer when He comes back uh, with power and great glory. His name yes. is Jesus. Uh, Stephen looked up in heaven and saw Jesus uh, yes. standing on the right hand of God. Yes. He went on and said, he seen Jesus. And believe me, when that baby was born, yes. he had a right hand. Yes. He was standing on the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Today, my friend, let the invisible become visible. When you look up into heaven and see Jesus, yes. may you see your invisible God and that you see Jesus standing on His right hand become invisible. Yes. Oh, praise the name of the mighty God. We have a Savior. We have wisdom. We have righteousness. We have the invisible God all wrapped up in the invisible Yes. Be visible, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Receive the Holy Ghost. Put on a new tongue. Testify of Jesus and all the things that He has done. For the thing Jesus has done was the things the Father was doing in the flesh. The Amen. invisible God was making Himself visible. Amen. Sin is being made known today, and sin don't care to make himself known. I say, let the righteous be made known. And I'm talking about Jesus. Don't be ashamed to say his name. Don't be ashamed to say who he is. Let the righteous be more righteous than the scribes and Pharisees. Hallelujah. They would not accept Jesus. You have a chance to make your mighty God show. Let your righteousness show. Speak, Jesus. Amen. Receive the Holy Ghost and put on another Hallelujah. tongue. Let your tongue talk, Jesus. Let your tongue talk, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, may it fall on all of our heads and we speak your name and show this invisible God to the world. You know, as a man thinks, so is he. You thinking you're a sinner? You're a sinner. You thinking you're living right? And you know you are? You're living right. It's in the heart. You think you love Jesus? You do. If you love God with all thy heart, yeah. mind, soul, and strength, that's how you love Jesus. Jesus said, with your mouth you say you love me, but your heart's far from me. I'm testifying of Jesus. The Holy Ghost testifies of Jesus. Whatsoever you hear, then you speak what the Spirit of the Father said. I hear the Spirit saying, testify of Jesus. Uh, show Amen. Jesus. Show who He is. Show this invisible God to the world because time is running out. Open our eyes, Lord. Let us see uh, sin, what it is, and righteous, what it is. Help us to escape the wrong and turn to the right. Uh, open our eyes up that we can see clearly now What's right and what's wrong? In Proverbs 23 and 7, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. What are you thinking in your heart? Do you love Jesus? Do you love your Savior? Do you love the wisdom of God? Do you love the knowledge of God? Do you love the saving God? Do you love the God that's coming after you? Do you love the God that when you hear a voice from heaven, you see only Jesus? Is your heart with Jesus Christ? Or are you saying it with your mouth only? Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. For as... He thinketh in his heart, so is he. You're going to do and say what's inside of you. True love is going to say and do 
what's in the heart. It's a heart thing. It's not a mouth thing. It's a heart thing. You can tell someone you love them all the time, but does your heart show it? Does your heart show it? You can say you have the Spirit of the living God, but is your heart showing the Spirit of the living God? Is that heart showing Jesus? Is that heart loving the Lord thy God with all your heart? Is that spirit testifying of Jesus Christ? Is that heart, is that heart connected with God? Is the Holy Ghost that comes upon you, is it connected with a new tongue that fell upon all of them? And that new tongue was as fire. And this new tongue was Jesus said, wait for, I'm going to come unto you. And the Holy Ghost came. Let me tell you, Jesus came. And they got a new tongue. And they spoke of Him. They baptized of Him. They carried on in the faith in Him. They done all things in word and deed uh, in His name. Uh, why? They received the Holy Ghost. Uh, their heart was changed. Uh, they got new tongues coming on. Uh, all they do is speak Jesus from the morning. They speak Jesus in the evening. They speak Jesus at the night time they cannot go to bed without the man named Jesus uh, and if you should die before you wake uh, who's going to raise you it's Jesus uh, it's the heart uh, fall in love with God Almighty you will be resurrected them that are buried in Christ is going to rise the dead in Christ shall rise first uh, it's a heart thing uh, we have a God that loved us so much uh, that he came to this earth uh, that died upon a cross. Emmanuel, the invisible Father, was made visible for a son was given uh, and he was the everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace, uh, the mighty God was he. God showed his heart. Uh, he showed his hands. Uh, he showed his voice. Uh, he showed his face. Uh, now we do testify and we see our great God and Savior in the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to rise again. That's going to be soon. Do you see anybody in the grave today arising? Let me tell you. It's unseen today, but some great day when that trumpet sounds, the invisible things that you cannot see is going to happen. There's going to be a great God come on them clouds. There's going to be a trumpet sound. And the dead in the name of this great God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. I'm so glad that one day, even though I don't see Jesus in the flesh, there's a Holy Ghost that comes all over you. And He speaks Jesus. It's the gift of the Holy Ghost. You speak in tongues. Them tongues are Jesus Christ. Have you received the tongues? Have you seen, received Jesus? Have you been baptized? Christ in the name of them tongues, them tongues is name in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the Holy Ghost. Change, change, change. Now you can speak in tongues. You can speak in tongues. You can tell the world that this invisible God that was made visible is Jesus Christ. Speak tongues. Speak tongues. Speak in to the world. Uh, this invisible God uh, that sin Christ uh, is the Holy Ghost uh, um, that on the day of Pentecost uh, and they all spoke. I can hear them in the upper room. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. You said you'd never leave us. Uh, you said you'd never forsake us. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, come on back in our church. Uh, fill all of our churches with the Holy Ghost uh, that we might see you. Once again, Lord oh, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, what you hear in by the Spirit of your Father, Jesus said, say it, 
don't even think. But when they take you up into the synagogues and the councils, don't even think. For the Spirit of your Father speaketh for you. Man. Thank you, Jesus, my Father. Thank you, Jesus, for telling me that you're going to come and wait upon you. Thank you, Jesus, that I testify of who you are, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. I speak it by the Spirit that you have given me. I speak the truth by the Spirit of the truth that you have given me. The Spirit of the truth testifies of the truth. There's no God like you. There's no Savior beside you. You are the first. You are the last. You truly are the Holy Ghost. And I'm speaking by the Holy Ghost. You truly are all in all. And all in all. Oh, Holy Ghost, get in me. Get in me. Jesus, you truly are all in all and in all. Receive the Holy Ghost. Sin is making itself rapid today. People are changing. God don't. God has always been God. There is one true living God. It has always been one true living God. Open your eyes up and see this one true living God. Sinners, the devil is making himself known many ways. I know God made himself known in one name. There's not another name under heaven whereby man can be saved. Amen. That name covers heaven and earth. That name is above all other names. What do you got to, to be afraid of? You'll say the same thing if you receive the Holy Ghost and speak in other tongues. Oh, Hebrew tongues. Amen. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, my God. Oh, God of the Israel. God of Israel. God of the world. God, the Savior of us Gentiles. Oh, speak unto us a new tongue, Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus, we need you more than ever. We must be sorry, a sorry generation for putting our Lord upon a cross. If we had known who you were, Lord, we would not have crucified you. And Lord God, if you, we knew who you were today, we would not deny your name in any way. Hallelujah. Oh God, your name is still the same. You're still a healer. You're still a raiser from the dead. You are the resurrection of life. You are life. You're the life giver. You're the light of the world. The light of the world is in the light of the world. Yes. God Almighty, we know where you abide. You abide in the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is hurting people. Somebody needs to be healed. You can only get healed in the healer. His name is Jesus. You can only get delivered from any addiction by the Deliverer. His name is Jesus. Yes. You need someone to prophesy to you? I know the yes. greatest prophet. His name is Jesus. He can prophesy to you. How can He do this? Hallelujah. Open your ears up. There's a Holy Ghost around. Open your ears up. Let Him prophesy to you. Jesus Christ is the same today and forevermore. God does not change. People change. My question is, are you changing for the better? Or are you changing for the worst? Let it be made known. If the homosexuality can let their sins be made known, and they do it with pride, let the righteous of Jesus be made known yes. and do it with pride. I'm a proud to be a righteous man of the Lord Jesus Christ who takes away all sin and behold all things become new and then the righteous one steps in and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Man. All unrighteousness. God plainly tells in His holy word in plain writing without judgmental of people 
of some things that will not inherit the kingdom of God. You can read it for yourself. It tells you will not. Whores, whoremongers. Daughters. Daughters. Feminine. Fornicators. Feniment. Uh, homosexuality. Will not inherit the kingdom of God. Bible. Bible. I believe the Bible is holy and righteous. Now, it's our choice. Yes. To make known of the unseen seen. Amen. People today, if the sinner man is not afraid to show his sin, we should not be afraid to show what turns us away from sin. Yes. And it's this holy Bible. Amen. The righteous one is in there. There's a living God in there. There is a Holy Ghost that's sent forth for you today to make everything right in your life. Amen. His name is Jesus, the righteous one. Let the unseen be seen. Do you want your sin to be seen? Or is there anything good in you at all? And the only good that's going to be in you is God showing Amen. the righteous one. You know, sin is a disease, a disease of the flesh. And uh, the Bible says that in order to put it in remission, now, just like a cancer, we've said this many times before, that you have to go to Acts 2.38. You have to repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, which is Jesus. Yes. He was our gift. The Holy Ghost gave us Jesus, born in Mary, produced inside Mary, that gave visible. us God with us. Make God visible with us. You too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And what it is, and such as were some of you, yes. sinners, adulterers, fornicators, effeminate. Yes. Okay? But the Bible says you can put it in remission if you repent of that sin, turn away from it, and be baptized and wash away your sin, that the remission, with the, the medicine takes place. That's what yes. saves your sin-sick soul. So I'm telling you, there is a chance and a hope for all of us. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But the only way is through Jesus Christ. The visible God. The visible God in the flesh. Amen? Yeah. I am so glad this visible God made himself known to the world, the invisible God. And when he told us in Matthew, go and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost, he wanted the invisible Father and Son and Holy Ghost to be made known. So he told us to do it in a name that's visible. A name Amen. that's visible. And I'm so glad that you can accept this visible God today because he's no longer invisible. The invisible became visible. You don't have to no longer be a sinner. You can change your life and all your goodness can show by showing the visible things of God. The righteous one can make you righteous. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our v visible God. Praise God.